What's up YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator, and here today with another Dollar Tree haul. So you guys want to see what I found last time I went? I found some really great items. So let's go ahead and hop right into my haul. So the first thing I saw when I walked in, you guys, in the front of the store were these. And these were the two varieties they had. And yes, these are the big boxes. These are 28.2 ounce boxes. This is the value pack with 16 pastries inside, 16 Pop-Tarts inside. Now we tried these, my kids and I, we tried these, but Gator doesn't like Pop-Tarts at all or any kind of Pop-Tart. But we tried these, um, Bunny and Birdie and I, and we think that they really captured the taste of root beer in these Pop-Tarts. But the question is, it does it feel right eating a pop tart flavored like root beer not so much but they really did capture the flavor well and then regarding this box of pumpkin pie pop tarts these are also 28.2 ounces and this was a limited edition i didn't see these in walmart or target when i went but again you're getting 16 pastries so if you really love pop tarts if you really love these flavors, you're getting a really good deal. Now, I thought this tasted pretty good. Um, again, it felt a little weird having a Pop-Tart that was flavored like pumpkin pie because it was a little more bready than pumpkin-y, but I thought the flavor was really nice. These tasted really good, um, cold and heated up. And right below the Pop-Tarts on that same little front promo shelf that they have right when you walk in the store back just a few feet were these Eggtastics. This is a ceramic microwave cooker. This is an As Seen on TV product. You guys, this is the first time they came to my store. And I don't know if you guys have seen what one of these look like, but I figured I'd just go ahead and take it out just in case you haven't. And I think there are possible color variations available. So don't necessarily expect to receive the same one if you get this one, or I don't know, maybe maybe you do. But it's packed in styrofoam. And here's the container, and here's the lid. I thought this might make a nice little tea steeper as well, because the lid has a little hole in it. And this is a pretty quality product. This has like a little silicone nub on it, and the bottom also has like a nice silicone uh, you know, little bottom part, so when you set it down, it won't scratch anything up, but I figured this might be nice. Um, besides cooking an egg, this could possibly be used for something else, like I said, steeping tea or maybe a little honey jar. I don't know. I thought it was cute, and I wanted to try it out. I saw these new in my store this week, and I have to say, you guys, we really love cranberries in my house. These cranberries, they feel really soft and fresh. You get three ounces in this bag. This bag is two servings, so this is a good little personal size. So you guys have seen me hauling these lately and the veggie straws, and I think I really like the texture of these. These look like mini ridge chips, and I think they're just so good. You don't get much, only 2.75 ounces, which is three servings, and it's 140 calories per serving. These are really delicious as well. You get a little more in this bag. You get 3.5 ounces, but these are the baked veggie puffs and these are in cheddar and sour cream. I'll show you guys what they look like. So you see them, they look kind of like, like cheese puffs or cheese doodles. And here is the size. And these are really good. I think you guys would really like them. So in part two of my last Dollar Tree haul, I created sort of a two-in-one video where in the upper left-hand corner, you guys could see me painting my nails and trying however many coats it was going to be, and you could see what the color looked like. I really would love to know if you guys like that sort of style of video where I'm doing the haul, but you're also seeing other things going on, because I really like that concept. I really like to incorporate some of these products and show you how some of these products actually work instead of just, look what I got, look what I got, and you're never knowing if it's good or not. I really like to give that feedback and say, this definitely is a good product. Now, this is Bordeaux. I didn't show myself painting my nails with it in my previous video, but I have my nails painted here with it. I did just the tips because I was in a hurry, and I kind of like that, that look for this color. But this color, you guys, if you see it, pick up this color. I did my toes in this color and my nails. 
This is so pretty. This is really, really close to a favorite color that I have. That's a color from many years back by Avon. It's called Cherry Jubilee. And this is really close to Cherry Jubilee. It applies nice and smooth. And I think you guys would love it. It's that classy, pretty burgundy red color. I mean, this is such a timeless color. So I found Bordeaux again, and I picked one up for my BFF. Then you guys, I found China Flower. And this is kind of a bright reddish orange blend. And I thought she would really like this for the summertime. So here's what it looks like. And then I thought about her and this one, and I thought that she might really like this one on her toes in the summertime, and it's called Beachy. And in the summer, when her feet are nice and tan, she will have fun, you know, like all of us do. When we get a tan in the summer, we have other colors to choose from, from our collection that really look good on our feet once we're nice and tan in the summertime. So this color is so pretty and it's called Beachy and I really like the kind of copper brown tones that it has. So if you're watching, those are the colors I picked out for you. I hope you're gonna like them. Now you guys, I know I'm skipping all around, but that's how I like to do my hauls. I like to keep it fun and spontaneous. I found these by Homebright. These are the in wash fragrance boosters. I found these probably four weeks ago. I smelled them. I really liked them, but I didn't get them. But this time I did. I had to get them. Someone on Instagram was saying that they use them in their laundry and that they couldn't smell them, that they didn't really, you know, have a a good effect on their clothes, but that they put them in containers around their house and that it smelled really nice. Mmm, you guys, I love how this smells. This scent definitely does smell clean and fresh. So my daughter and I have been trying to make slime and we have probably had about five fails. And so we are really going through a lot of glue. I think we've gone through about three, three and a half, four bottles so far. This was the last pack of glue that I saw at Dollar Tree. This is by Jot. This is a two pack and each bottle is four ounce, which is your standard size. So in another one of my hauls, you guys saw me pick up one of these dry erase erasers, been trying to say that. And my husband really likes his. He says it works really well. I've recently bought a few new ones off eBay, not the same brand, and I've been really disappointed. So I got this one for a couple of our school dry erase boards, and um, I'm hoping that it will hold up nicely. And next, you guys, I got this one pack of stickers. I love the shimmer and the purples and the pinks. I love how some of these flowers are even framed. I think this pack is so pretty. This is actually my favorite one. I figured I'd bring it in closer so you guys can get a better look. You've probably seen these, but in case you haven't, oh, you guys should look for these because these are just beautiful. These would be so pretty on a handmade card or, you know, on a little something special. I really, really love this pack. Look what I found, you guys. Be fearless. I actually found both of these, but I really like the image on this one a lot better than the other one. I mean, the other one is really cute, and I truly was debating, but I really, really like this one, you guys. And I'm thinking about altering it in some way. I'm not exactly sure how, but you know, I might do a little something to change it because what I'm really after is this right here. And then I found another one of these coloring books for Gator because he finished the entire book that he got for Christmas and he really loved this book. This is a great coloring book. So I definitely had to pick up one more for him. And since he's into dinos, I picked this one up as well. He has been into coloring. I gave him another coloring book yesterday and he finished it today and it probably was like 18 or 20 pages but he is loving to color right now and then you guys i had passed this up before but i took a little more time and looked at it and i'm really glad i got this sticker book because it is so cute now most of the pages are the same okay so we have this first page um these are kind of like i don't know like holographic or maybe not so much but Here's the first page, and then all the other pages after this, you can see kind of the shimmer. All the pages after this one are identical, just with a different colored background. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys the first page. And again, all the stickers are gonna be the same on the remaining three or four pages. 
but I thought these were all so cute. I like all the different hairstyles. So we have the purple background, and then we have the yellow background, the pink background, and that's it. So what do we have here? We have four sticker sheets. They're not telling us how many stickers are in this, but you get quite a bit. I got a new whisk, you guys, because I was in Walmart and I saw one and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pay $6 for a whisk. So this feels pretty sturdy. It feels like it's silicone and actually it's not silicone, it's nylon, but I'm going to give this a try. It's a little bigger than I like for whisks. I like to have a variety. So if you know, Dollar Tree ever puts out a variety pack, I'll definitely try those too. And then I got some glue dots just to have on hand for crafting. I took this out of the package already and my plan is to go ahead and scrape off the lettering and just use this for crafting, you know, like sequins or embellishments or little stickers or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna be adding this to my collection. Do you guys smell a DIY coming on? Well, I got these for an upcoming DIY. This is white sand and this is black sand and these are 1.1 ounce bags. Actually not ounces, these are 1.1 pound bags. And I, I, you know, it's sand, it's clean and it's the color I want, so hopefully you guys will also check out my DIY whenever I put it up. Be on the lookout for a DIY. Saving the best for last, we have Skinny Washi, aka Deco Tape. I believe these are officially on paper, so these are officially Skinny Washi. But these are really cute, you guys. I actually found all three varieties, but I just picked up these two packs because these are my favorite. There might have even been a fourth variety, but you know, I was thinking that these should have been released in fall because these are very fall-like colors and they're all really pretty. I mean, you get seven to a pack. Here's the first one. Can you guys see? I like the hearts. I picked out this particular roll because this actual roll right here that's pink had a lot more pink. I think they vary slightly from roll to roll. And here is the second pack, you guys, that I was telling you about. And I think uh, this one says love. And these are really cute. Now it says deco tape on here and I'm thinking that's what all the washi tapes say. But yeah, this is a really cute pack. And I'm still enjoying my little skinny deco tapes, my skinny washies that they put out last year. I got some in friend mail and they were like really bright and neon and pretty. That's why I think that these should have been released um, in the fall, but that's okay. I really like them. I really like this geometric one at the end. It kind of has a, a slight neon. Why don't I take them out, you guys? Let's just look at them a little bit closer without the glare. Is that better for you guys? Can you see that a little better? So I really like this one here. It has just a cute little, what is that, like pink and green? I like that. Yeah, these are so cute. Let me go ahead and do that with the other pack as well. Now while I'm showing these to you guys, I want to let you guys know that I will be putting out a deco tape slash thin washi tape video here on my channel soon of some brand new washies that you guys most likely have not seen anywhere else and they're from the company Uli and they are really cute and I actually have them right here just to show you guys in the package but if you're in love with skinny washi and skinny deco tape sticker tape and all that stuff then you definitely want to check that haul out as well once I put it up. And it's going to be coming soon. Yeah, so here's the second pack. These are really cute, you guys. They look so much better out of the plastic. These are the little skinny deco tapes I was telling you about. I'm going to put up a separate haul just for these. Um, these are so cute. We have the owl theme, the cat theme, monster theme and dog theme. Now each pack is $6.95 from Uli.com 
but you get 13 feet of product on each roll and each pack has three rolls. You have three different patterns. So you have like dogs on one and then you have stripes and dots. And then each pack is basically that animal or that theme and then stripes and dots. So these are really cute and they're really tiny, perfect for planners. So I'm really excited to use these as well. But hey, you guys, all I have is empty bags. So that marks the end of my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and show me some love by hitting the thumbs up button. Share with me down in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that little button to subscribe. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.